In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use the 3D Package Blender to make a 2D animation. Select the camera, click the Object Properties button, drag to make the Properties panel wider, set the X location to 0, the Y location to 0, set the X rotation, the Y rotation, and the Z rotation all to 0, and set the Z location to 11. Change the view to camera, zoom in with the mouse wheel, click the camera's properties and change the lens to orthographic, select the cube, press X to delete it, add mesh plane, Click the Object Properties button and rename the plane Car. Drag on the white diagonal lines to open up a new window and change the new window into a UV image editor window. Click the Open button. Go to the folder where you have your image that you want to map to the plane and open image. Zoom back with the mouse wheel. Now it's very important that when you export your image from your graphics package that you save the file in the PNG format with a transparent background. Go into edit mode, mesh, UV unwrap, unwrap and change shading to texture. Click the plus to open up the properties panel and we see the dimensions of the car image. Now I want to get the ratio of the width of the car image correct to the height of the car image. So I'm going to type the dimensions in, 628 pixels, I'm going to type 0.628 and for the height I'm going to enter 0.169 now the ratio is correct, so I'm going to press S to scale 2.5 and enter. Drag on the white diagonal lines to close the window. Go into object mode, click the material button, click the add new material button, call the new material car, and the important setting is scroll down to transparency tick transparency and set alpha to zero. Click the texture button, click the add new texture button, call the new texture car. It should be of type image or movie. In preview click both, click the browse image button and select the car image. Scroll down, make sure that coordinates are UV and you must tick alpha in the influence panel. Scrolling up and looking at the preview if we click the plane it should look like that. Next I'm going to create a background. Now for 2D animation most probably the simplest thing to do would be to draw a background in a graphics package and then map the image to a background plane just as we map the car image to a car plane but because I'm going to create a simple background, I'm going to do it all in Blender. Add Mesh Plane. Click the Object Properties and set the X scale to 3.8 and the Y scale to 2.1. Change the name of the plane to Sky. Now, background objects, I'm going to set the Z location to negative values. Set the value to minus 6. Select the car. For foreground objects, I'm going to set the Z location to positive values, 2 and enter. And that's similar to in a 2D package to sending the sky to the back and bringing the car to the front. Click the material button. Scroll down and hover over the shadeless tick box. 
Now when we render 2D objects we don't need ray tracing and as the tooltip says make this material insensitive to light or shadow tick the box select the sky scroll up click the add new material button call the new material sky click the diffuse color set the red value to 0.2 scroll down and tick shadeless and to display the color go into edit mode and back into object mode click the object properties button duplicate shift D and enter call the duplicate hills and set its Z value to minus 4 go into edit mode select a top corner vertex hold down shift select the other top corner vertex press G to grab Y for the Y direction minus 1.5 and enter click the material button click the add new material button call the new material grass click the diffuse color and set the red value to 0 and the blue value to 0 go into object mode select the sky click the object properties button duplicate shift D and enter call the duplicate road and set its Z value to minus 2 go into edit mode select a top vertex hold down shift select the other top vertex press G to grab Y for the Y direction minus 3 and enter click the material button click the add new material button call the new material road click the diffuse color and set all three values to 0.2 Go back into object mode to make the stripes on the road with the road selected duplicate shift D and enter change the name of the duplicate to stripe press S to scale 0.15 and enter G to grab Y for the Y direction minus 1.3 and enter and click the right arrow on the Z location to nudge the stripe just slightly in front of the road click the material button click the add new material button call the new material stripe and set the diffuse color the red green and blue values to 1 go in and out of edit mode to see the change duplicate the stripe shift D and enter G to grab X for the X direction 2.3 and enter select the original stripe duplicate shift D and enter G to grab X for the X direction minus 2.3 and enter select the car and move it down by setting its Y location to minus 0.9 now the background is finished I'm ready to do some 2D animation I'm going to use the rhyme go to frame make change insert keyframe go to frame 1 I'm already in frame 1 make change I'm going to set the X location to 4.5 insert keyframe the only thing that's going to change is the X location so I'm right clicking on the X location and I'm going to insert a single keyframe set the total length of the animation to 50 to insert the second keyframe go to frame make change insert keyframe go to frame 50 make change set the 
x location to minus 4.5 and insert keyframe, right click, insert single keyframe. Rewind and play and we see that Blender automatically eases in and eases out the animation. If I change the window to a graph editor window, we see the ease in, the acceleration at the beginning, and the ease out, the deceleration at the end. But if I want the car to go to constant speed in the key menu, I need to change the interpolation mode to linear. Change the window back to 3D view. I'm going to end the tutorial there. I will make a second part where I'll show how to set up multiple scenes and how to mix 3D and 2D objects. Thanks for watching and goodbye.